All right, guys, an update here on 3i Atlas. The images that you see here of Atlas, specifically the middle one here, this has the unsharp mask filter applied to it. So you can see some of the key features around the, the core of this thing. And on the right, the Larson Sikanina filter put on this, it shows the jets shooting off one toward the sun in another the opposite direction. We've talked about all the anomalies with this thing, but you can see some of those features here, and those filters help to bring out those features. Now the jets, pretty important here, and anomalous, but what they're kicking out seems to be the building blocks of life. And we've discussed this in terms of the Sinai, but they're saying that when you look at the levels, like one of two things can happen here with the methanol and cyanide. It comes out in like just vast amounts, like too much of it can be poisonous. As we can see here on Earth, cyanide can be used as a weapon. But if you have subtle amounts of it, just the right amounts dropped in the atmosphere around a planet, it literally kicks off the whole process of amino acids starting to build and gets life going into to action. So they're looking at this thing like, okay, if anything else, it's definitely coming through here, giving off some kind of chemical signature of which they've never seen this combination. They've never seen a lot of this in a so-called comet. But this object is spewing out the building blocks of life. And again, it passed right through the atmosphere of Mars, and it's about to do the same when it comes to Jupiter, which is super interesting. As it has its non-gravitational acceleration around the sun, putting it on a perfect path to drop off these elements to where they'll be pulled into the atmosphere of Jupiter and Mars. They say that those odds alone are astronomical when it comes to this thing. So, you and you can see there in the middle image. This is a tight nucleus, and again, unlike anything else they've seen before. But I'll leave some links here with some updated information. Join me for the live stream where I discuss this in greater detail. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Dabu 77. Eyes to the skies.